Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will be creating a logistic regression model. The thing that will make this different from all the other videos is that in this video, we will not be using a data set. I know at first that may sound like a bad thing, but just stick with me because I feel a lot of times when beginners are learning a new machine learning algorithm or just starting off for the first time learning deep learning, the data pre-processing analysis and cleaning becomes most of the project itself and I feel like that pretty much subdues actually learning how to implement and use the algorithm and how the algorithm works because there's so much data your brain can't really put together what the patterns are especially with how easy sklearn has made it to create models and train them I just feel like many new people don't really understand how it works so in this video we won't be using a data set and I'm going to keep it as simple as possible if you want to see a video that uses a data set check out one of my previous videos i made a logistic regression project using titanic so let's get started first we want to import numpy as mp and then we'll import sklearn dot or sorry we'll say from sklearn dot linear model can't type linear model and we'll import logistic regression shift enter to run okay and then we'll create our x and our y and we will manually type these in so it'll be a numpy array in these brackets we are going to create a list and then we'll add another pair of brackets and this is where we'll type our data so our first data point will be minus 3, then it'll be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So here we've just created our x data, which is our features. And then our y data is, let's do the same thing, create a list, and our y data are our labels the target variables what we want to predict so we have a zero zero a third zero and then three ones so shift enter and what we've done here is we've created our x data and because logistic regression is a classification algorithm we have classified each of these points so we've classified minus three as zero minus two as zero minus one as zero and then from 1 to 2, we've classified all the positive numbers as 1. So because this is so extremely simple, we've already figured out by ourselves what the classification is. All the negative numbers will be classified as 0, and all the positive numbers will be classified as 1. And so we know that now because of how simple this is, but we want to create a model to figure that out for us. Because when we use more advanced data sets, we won't be able to put it together like that. So now we'll create our model and it will be equal to logistic regression with parentheses. Let's go to our next cell. And now that we've created our data and we've created our model, we can go ahead and train our model on the data with the dot fit function. So we'll say model dot fit. And here we pass in our data. Shift enter. We've just got an error and we see we Sorry, I mean, we've just gotten a warning and we do not have any errors. So now that we've trained our model with the data that we created, we can finally make our predictions. And so to do this, we can say model dot predict parentheses, and we're going to pass in a list. So our first point will be minus 33 and our second point will be four. Shift enter and we have our predictions. It classified minus 33 as 0 and it classified 4 as 1, which is 100% accurate because remember, we've classified personally all of our positive numbers as 1s and all our negative numbers as zeros. So we can do the same thing again, model.predict. This time we'll pass in a single value of, uh, let's say, 1000 or 101, shift enter and it's been classified as one. We can do the same thing with minus, uh, let's do minus 11, shift enter, and it's been classified as 
0. So what we've done here is we've passed in our x value because you always predict the y value. So we've passed in our x value and we get our returned predicted y value, which so far have all been correct. So in this video, we've successfully created a very simple logistic regression project in which we use logistic regression for binary classification. If you liked and learned something in this video, please consider subscribing and liking for more of these programming videos. I also plan to make some more uh, like geometry math videos and please comment some new video ideas.